Hello, I'm Anthony Rumrell. Welcome to CG for Me. So <clears throat> today we're going to work on skinning the pig. It's rigged. All the connections are made. All the controls are colored. So first thing I want to show you is that I've created some layers for the joints and the pig mesh itself. Next thing I want to show you is uh, I'm going to select my root joint and the mesh itself by shift selecting. I'm going to go to skin bind and smooth bind. And for the most part, that's it. That's how you skin. So if I were to start to rotate these controls, you can see I the mesh moves. You can see some little errors or problems with the skin. And uh, I'm going to turn off my joint selection here. I'm going to isolate it so I don't select my joints and rotate it. And you can see little issues when it deforms. For example, it implodes in there. And also watch, you can see the vertices pulling. So what's happening is uh, the way Maya works is it uses the vertices contain skin weight data per vertice or per vertex. And uh, so what we need to do is we need to change the influences of these vertex. So I'm going to reset these controls. And here's how I'm going to do it. So I'm going to go to, first thing I'm going to do is select my skin. And I'm going to go to my skin and edit smooth skin. And I'm going to do something. Um, I'm going to prune my small weight size. So um, I'm going to show you what this is going to do. Is it's just going to it's going to shrink my selection. So let me talk about weight data. Let me go back to that subject for just a minute. I'm going to bring up my component editor here. I'm going to go to my smooth skins, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you when I move when I rotate this object. I want to show you the influences here on these vertices. So I'm going to go to vertex mode and I'm going to select a ring of vertices. And here's what I'm talking about. Now, ver um, vertex data, you can see that the vertices, the, uh, the, the weight influences are listed right here. And right now, it's being influenced by the uh, left ankle, the right ankle, the hip, uh, both hips, and one of the knees. And all these total up to a value of 1. Skin weight data always equals a value of 1. So what I want to do is I want to prune back these smaller ones. So if I'm looking here, I don't want any influences from this joint or this joint here. And... I don't want any influences from these joints. I can zero these out, but I'm going to take care of it all at once. I'm going to go back to object mode, and I'm going to prune my weights. Let's say I'm going to prune anything that's smaller than 0 0.02 and apply. You can see that change right away. So I'm going to rotate this control again. And you can see I've minimized my influence. There's still some there. But I'm just going to go back to vertex mode and see if this is resolved some of the problem. And you can see it has, for the most part. There's one little influence left. It's 0.25. So I'm going to go back to object mode and prune my weights a little more. So let's say something higher, like 0 0.06 and prune. And the reason I'm doing this is I'm just trying to limit my influence. As you can see, it's it hasn't cleaned up this area because it has heavier influence, but it has taken off the influence right there. And if I were to go back, select this in vertex mode, you could see it's now pruned it down to just the ankle and the knee, which is good because I'm also limiting the weights per vertex right here. And, uh, you know, and for most game engines, you want to limit this anyway. We'll talk about that another time. But um, 
that's a that's a good start and I'm going to go back through here on the next video and talk about changing the influences using this component editor.